Uh, my name is Lisa Jacobs, and I'm a surgical oncologist at Johns Hopkins University and Howard County General Hospital. I take care of breast cancer or diseases of the breast and melanoma. In general, most patients with breast cancer will have a variety of treatments, and that's because we're trying to fight the tumor on a, through a variety of mechanisms. So almost everyone with breast cancer will have surgery, and many people with breast cancer will have chemotherapy. Depending on the type of surgery that's done and depending on the lymph nodes, then many people will also have radiation therapy and many people will have hormonal therapy, which is an anti-estrogen therapy. From a surgical standpoint, there are, there are essentially two treatment choices from surgery. The first is to do breast preservation, which means we save as much of the breast tissue as possible, and the second is to do a mastectomy. In both of those cases, we're doing everything we can to give the best overall appearance of the breast or the area as we can. When we do a lumpectomy, it depends a little bit on breast size, how much you notice the difference in the breast. So in someone who is a double D, if I take out something the size of a lemon in their breast, it's not so noticeable because they have a lot of breast volume. In someone who's an A or a B cup, taking out something the size of a lemon out of their breast has the potential to change the size of the breast by about a half cup size. So we talk to women about that. We include that in some of the conversations as to what happens when we do a lumpectomy. Um, the nice thing about a lumpectomy is we preserve the nipple and areola almost always. And then even if you do have some volume loss, there are some ways we can fill that in. Um, but it changes, it might change the appearance and size of the breast, more the size than the shape of the, of the breast. The other choice is to do a mastectomy, which is to remove all of the breast tissue that we can remove. And we do mastectomies in a variety of ways. We can do a standard mastectomy where we remove a lot of the skin, and that's done in patients who do not plan reconstruction. Removing a lot of the skin and the nipple and areola so that when you close the incision, you have a flat chest. In women who are choosing to do reconstruction, the majority of them, we will try to leave as much skin on the breast as we can, and that's because it's the skin that determines the shape of the breast. And it's, um, as one of my patients told me, it's sort of like when you take your foot out of a sock, it still looks like a sock. When you remove the breast tissue but leave the skin, all, you have to, all the plastic surgeons have to do is fill the space. They don't have to recreate the shape because the sh shape is made by the skin. So if you can save the skin, you can save the shape and then they just fill in the space. Um, so we do those incisions and sometimes we remove the nipple and areola and other times we don't. If we can save the nipple and areola, that is our most cosmetic appearing and our best um, appearance to mastectomies with reconstruction. Sometimes we have to remove the nipple and areola. Some people choose to remove it anyway. Um, they still get a very nice reconstruction, and there's a variety of ways to reconstruct the nipple and areola or do tattoos for the nipple and areola. Um, breast reconstruction can be done with either your own tissue, which is called autologous, auto being your own, and or it can be done with implants. Um, there are pros and cons to each of those. Implants are a foreign material. They only last a certain period of time, 15 to 20 years, and they do have to be replaced after that time. But they do create a perky looking reconstruction. Um, in women who've had a prior augmentation, uh, it's pretty simple to do a mastectomy and reconstruction with an implant because you just make up for the difference of the size of breast tissue that you removed and just put in a larger implant. And those women look very similar to the way they looked before with their augmentation. Um, using your own tissue is a bigger surgery, usually takes six to 10 hours. And it's a little bit of a riskier surgery because it's more involved. Um, there are a variety of ways to use your own tissue. The most common and most well-established is using tummy tissue where you remove the tummy tissue, you divide it from its blood supply down on the tummy and reinsert it into the blood vessels in the chest. 
and then that is living tissue. So you sort of pay the price of a bigger surgery in the beginning, but you get from that a more long-lasting reconstruction that's more natural material. Um, there's also a newer technique for using your own tissue that's a little smaller surgery, and it's for women who are thinner and don't have a lot of tummy tissue and don't need a tummy tuck. Um, that's called fat grafting, where we do liposuction wherever someone needs liposuction or wants liposuction, spin down those cells, and then inject them into the site of the breast. That procedure takes several episodes of repeated liposuction to result in a final reconstruction with that technique. So that's more of a process, but it is a type of reconstruction where you're using your own tissue. And you don't end up with a large tummy tuck scar on your abdomen.